This video is sponsored by Value Testers, best tool company on the web, great pricing and customer service. Contract a discount once signed up with an account. Link in description below. Morning guys, December 20th, 2019. This one here, I gotta go change a tankless heater and a boiler. Um, I was there a while back, a few weeks ago. I did a burner service for the guy and I noticed that the electrical line going to the main control was all rotted. Um, I looked up, I thought it was the, um, the water pipe dripping, which it was wet, but then when I looked into it deeper, the tankless, the tankless, it looked like the tankless uh, plate was leaking. So, talked to the guy about it, told me he should put a new boiler in there, but he wants to just change the tankless and, and clean it up. Um, so, that's what we're going to do. I kind of think he should have put a new boiler in, but he don't want to spend that the money for a new boiler, so he's going to spend a lot for the tankless and doing the repair. I mean, it's an older system, probably probably 20 years old, the boiler. Um, but that's what he wants to do, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go there. I got the tankless. Um, been meaning to get over here and do it sooner, but I, you know things pop up. So I left the dog home. It's really cold this morning. Left at home because she's not gonna want to stay in a cold truck. I don't, you know, it's only a little thing. So I'm gonna should be on this job for a couple, three hours. I'm thinking. I gotta drain down the boiler, drain down the aqua bank, change the the tankless, and uh, it's one that I can get to the bolts front and back. So the tankless kind of sticks out from the boiler. It's a steel boiler. So if I gotta cut the bolts off, it's not a problem. Sometimes these tankless systems, I won't touch them if they're, you know, the, the bolts are tapped into the cast iron. Sometimes they'll snap and they're going to be eating a shit sandwich on that one. But we'll try to get you some shots. You know, he's not the type of guy to stand around and watch me, so. He needs a new tankless coil. He needs a new um, tridicator because that thing's all chooched. It's gonna cost him some bucks. I'll do what the customer wants. Alright, yeah, looks like the one. It's all corroded. Alright, we're gonna drain the boiler down and the aqua bank. Looks like I gotta change that too. That's dripping. I'll have to change that. I got the hot and the cold off. The cold for the boiling, cold for the aqua bank. <sighs> this piping's gonna have to all be changed also. Shutting the house off, gonna go drain everything. Get that out of the way. This is probes gonna come out. I am draining the boiler, so the water should be down enough by now. We'll find out. That probe's gonna come out too, so.
take some of these bolts out. This one might be an issue. See, it's all crusty. That's all crusty. I don't think the gauge is leaking, but I might be able to. I might have another one in the truck. I don't know. So I'll just cut these here. Whoosh, whoosh. Draining that too, so that should be pretty drained by now. I'm hoping. Had them open up all the. Had them, had them open everything up in the house. Hot and cold everywhere, so. A couple bolts, you can cut them. Boilers dated seven ninety nine. So that's what twenty years old. Yeehaw. Probably ain't gonna want to buy a new one because this is a big box for this thing. We use that. That's why I put the rag over the thing. There's water in this coil and on this leg. I got the hole sucked up over there, draining it, so. Get a better look on where it was leaking. That's a little scary. area right there. screws on there, a couple of nuts.
He's got a couple of screws loose, Mama. Got a couple of screws loose. That's a different size. I should have one in the truck. It looks like three quarter. I should have one of them in the truck. Three quarter probe. different probe for that. This should be half inch. Alright, I got a three quarter one in the truck. Same length. Same thing. So I'll just use that. You could use a bushing. I don't have a bushing. Much room there, do they? solder up some elbows on there after.
one a little different, Steve? A little bit. It's got a bigger probe in there. The yeah. other one was half inch. This one's three quarter. Uh huh. And that's the same gauge? Same gauge. Oh, okay. You want me to change that too? <laughs> no, not if we don't have to. Well, I got, you know, you, that's another 125 bucks. I mean, I know <laughs> you. I know you're tighter than two coats of paint there, no? Oh, yeah. When it comes to this. Now. <laughs> so, we'll just put in what we have to. I mean, the coils. Yeah. Coil's not cheap, but. It's either, either change the boil or the coil. I mean, you can't have it blow on you, right? Oh, no. I'm just doing, I'm just doing what I have to here. Yeah. You could still read it. Yeah. I mean, I don't need to read it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm reading. As long as it don't drip. If it drips when we put it back together, I'll have to change it. And this is this was dripping, so I gotta change this 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 oh. boiler drain here. We'll get it. Okay. We'll take care of you. Make sure these are tight because you don't want these dripping. Oh, these are welded in there. That might be abrased. That might be where it was leaking before. I don't know. I was just going to change this and then I came and I seen that tankless was all choked. I said, that's ah, no good like that. We'll clean these and we'll put two street elbows and right up to couplers. I shouldn't need no bleeder on this because I got some a pretty good volume of stuff there, so I don't think I need a bleeder. I don't think it's gonna build up pressure. I hope not. I did clean the three quarter up top and prepped it. Got all the burrs out of it. Joint, and I don't like the way it flows in. I'll put some more flux on it and re-solder it. You'll see that we do that sometimes, that's why. I got a rag here to wipe it. Start on the top and work our way down.
Them, them can be tricky. You heat them up, hit them with the flux. You don't want to cook them though. I should do it. I gotta change this valve too. That thing was dripping. So we'll put another one on there. Time. Now's the time, Mama. All right, turn the water on and see if we got any leaks. Hope not. We'll be able to hear if there's any air coming out. Hopefully this valve shuts off. This is not these aren't the easiest valves to play around with. I got another one in a truck like that, the side out port. You know, this time put it just put a T there if you had to with a boiler drain on the end. That yeah. one was dripping. That's the other one I just like the one I have outside. Well, this one here, when I turned it on, it was dripping from the O ring. Yeah. So yeah. if I don't change it, when I see a visual yeah, problem, I'm going to have another problem. We don't want that. No. All right, so the tank's filling. Make sure I got no leaks here because this is kind of a tricky, tricky joint to do because it's because it it's right against the. Uh, you got to put the male adapters in first. Okay. All right, why don't you go upstairs and open up all the faucets, let all the air out. Again? Okay. Yeah, hot and cold. Okay. But do the tubs first. All right. And get, once you get a good flow of water, do the faucets. All right. In the meantime, I can start picking up some of my tools here. And I'll have to put the control back, but I want to wait until the water's all in. Before we put this back, this control back. I got I to gotta purge. I gotta purge the heating zones yet. Try this one? No, let's get all the air out. Let's get all the air out first. Do this, and then we can do all the faucets. So if there's any sediment, it'll come out of here, right? Mm -hmm. Tanks for air. Yeah, see, I do have more of these valves in the truck. Older ones. But the other one's dripping. I'm gonna try putting a cap on it and tighten the pack and then see if it works. If not, I gotta drain the system down again. What a bitch. Never a dull moment, mama. Never a dull moment. She's a... Pretty good washer. I'll try capping it. Wish me luck. you can cap this part but then this top will drip I'm 
we'll see. Give it a minute. Hopefully that holes I took the handle off. I just gotta purge the zones. Okay. Bypass these heads and then we'll purge the zones. That's the basement zone. Well, at least we got no leaks on the stuff I did. Yeah, so this does have a check valve in this feeder over here in the back, so. Mm -hmm. You got all the shut off, everything shut off upstairs? Yep, Kind of high. See all this stuff melted. Mm -hmm. What do you got a well here? No. No, no. I wish I did. The pressure's kind of low. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, it's something we can live with. That's not a real problem. You know, normally. Be one of them calls. Do not hang up. Did we get them? What? Them I calls? Don't, I don't answer them. They call you. Do not hang up. No, I don't answer those. Like when you called this morning and said wireless. Something's not making sense here. I'm not getting any water through that feeder. No? No, I'm not getting any water. I got everything open. I should be getting a better flow than that. Yeah, I got the I got the nut loose. I'm gonna turn the water on. I ain't getting no flow through that 9D. So I gotta change that. Take it apart, clean it, or something's wrong with it. Is that just a filter in there or something? No, that's the pipe. That's Look at the shit coming out. Maybe if I clean it. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's why it's not working. Yeah. Ooh. All right, it's feeding through now. You can hear it. Mm -hmm. as, long as, it, as long as it don't drip, we're good. I was wondering why that thing was an issue. Where? That's coming from this. Once I shut it, maybe he'll stop. More stuff that you got that's got issues. I'm not a big fan of them purge stations like that. Now, what does that tank about this? Is that just a water tank? Uh, expansion. When you heat the water, it expands. Uh -huh. You need that. Um, if not, it'll build pressure and blow the relief valve. Oh, so if you so come in, the relief valve's blown. Most likely, that tank is is, is an issue. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, we're getting a flow now. We could hear it. Yeah. Hear it? Yep, yep. Before we weren't getting that. We're getting. Yeah, we got a drip on that. Got tighten. All right. What happened to the gasket that fell out? Falling out before I put it back. That's why it was dripping. But there's all kinds of that cholesterol in there. We're getting a good flow now. I got the control box back on. What a real shit show, Mama. Look at the, all the water back on. 
I got that thing to stop dripping. I got to put a cap on it. That's all right. That's why on a job like this you want to start first thing in the morning. Don't start a job like this at 12. So I told the guy, first thing in the morning. I think I got here like 9, no, 9.30, something like that. So we can switch over to this other zone and do that other one now. All the zone heads pulled down temporarily so I could do the purging. Big fan of these purge stations. This one looks like it's dripping a little bit. Junk. You could just hear. You could usually hear if the air is coming out when it's nice. When you put your hand on the holes, you could feel air coming out also. So I did replace this. Look at that, that's cooked. I gotta fix that. Look at the wires touching. It's no good. I gotta fix that too. I guess I'm thermos that wire. That's no good, Mama. Alright, so we got the thermos that wire out of the way now. Before it was laying in here and it got cooked. So we should be ready to fire this thing up. I got everything purged. I just have to reinstate the heads. Just have to reinstate these three heads and I'm good. Alright, cut your wire and put a couple of wire nuts here out of the way. So it's yeah, not. Well, it doesn't touch and burn it again, huh? Well, no, what was happening before was it was it was on the top and it oh, got cooked. Okay. So, you so that thing would run the heat all the time. The yeah, heat yeah, would never yeah. shut off. Yeah. You would find it real hot. Uh -huh. So I just put that there. Yeah. I mean, that's out of the way. It's good enough. Good. Get that fixed. Get that's that not leaking. Yeah. I changed the boiler drain because that was leaking. Mm -hmm. That seems to be okay now. That was blocked. Yeah. You've seen that. that. They got the yeah. new coil in. No leaks. New probe. The bigger size. We left your gauge in there. Mm -hmm. What's that gauge tell you? Pressure and temperature. Is it prepared a certain uh, pressure or something like that? Well, they're not. That's a tridicator. Them things aren't cheap. That's like 125 bucks for that. I mean, you don't yeah. want to pay it. I know. So. <laughs> This is good. All right, guys, it's running. What do we got there? New tankless, new three-quarter well, repipe tankless purge zones. You know, I had to, I had to clean out the feeder. I had to add the cap over there. There were some other issues, but I had to fix this. It's a little dark down here. I'm trying to get out of here. Fix that. But uh, yeah. I did the cleaning recently on it, back in, yeah, back in 11, 419, so that was you know, over a month ago, I was here. Well, she's back up and running, this thing don't seem to be leaking. What a shit show, huh? all the valves are back, all the three zone valves are restored, all the water lines are on, we're good to go. Yeah, new, new boiler drain. I thought it was all rotted. Can you see it? That's what a, that's what a tankless, that's what a coil looks like inside there. I told the guy that thing could blow, mama. When I seen that, I told him it's gonna be fixed. Do so you wanna be a plumber? Just left that job. That that uh, system had what they call an aqua bank, which that tankless coil 
got a bronze circulator hooked up to an aqua bank and it circulates water through the tankless to give him hot water for his house so that was an aqua bank so that's why there was no tempering valve on that tankless usually a storage tank will have a coil inside the storage tank but an aqua bank has no coil in it so you need a tankless to, to heat the water up to separate the boiler water from the domestic but he had a lot of issues over there and we got them straightened out but um myself i mean i would have probably liked to replace the whole boiler but he didn't want them so he can do what he wants it was cheaper than replacing the whole boiler obviously but I mean, he spent some money there by the time i did the service and went back changed the wire and then when i went back and i and i seen that that went back to change the copper the copper lines and I seen that tankless was all rotted in the bottom I said well you need a new coil I mean I can't just change the copper lines it was more than just the copper lines that was an issue there the copper lines were leaking leaking down if you remember the other video the electric wire was all rotted that's what I first found the problem was a wire and I pulled the covering off and found the um, the copper pipe was leaking down the covering onto the wire and then when I went back to change the copper, when I had a little time, I, that's when I seen the, co the coil was all rotted. And I said, wow, you got more issues than just, uh, than just the copper here, guy. And he, he wanted to change the coil. So, we give him the full Gundy over there. We give him a full blessing. Now, I kind of took care of him on a, uh, you know, I gave him the parts for basically what I paid for him. Felt sorry for the poor guy.